Teachers are being encouraged to embrace the education transformation process. Chair of the board of the Erdogan Teachers Training College, Dr. Sylvia Henry, wants them to be an integral part of the transformation. Embrace the opportunities. Apply what you have learned at the college and apply this to transform our schools and our nation. Do not, do not be a barrier in, uh, to educational change. Focusing on the theme for the graduation, empowering educators for tomorrow's realities, Principal Dr. Colin Kamabach says it aptly describes the global scenario. As teachers, we are charged with the awesome responsibility of guiding students to the acquisition of knowledge, skills, competencies, behaviors, attitudes, and all those desirable attributes which will make them equipped to function in what is a very uncertain future. In 2016, the World Economic Forum Future of Jobs report recognized that children in our schools today will find themselves in jobs that do not presently exist. The same report in 2023 further reiterated this point. The 2024 graduating class comprised 196 people. Some 47 of them earned their postgraduate diploma in educational leadership. Valedictorian Tiffany Grimes says the accomplishments came with hard work. She adds that teachers go the extra mile to enhance the education experience. Teachers, both current and past, are well versed in the latest research backed strategies and are eager to implement them in their classrooms. However, achieving this in the face of overcrowded curricula and outdated educational facilities poses a significant challenge. Transformation in education often does not occur as a single sweeping change, but rather as a series of incremental yet impactful improvements. It is through the ongoing enhancements and modifications that we can gradually elevate the quality of education and ensure that our students are prepared for the demands of the 21st century. The graduating class was further encouraged to utilize their critical thinking skills and creativity. Kishma Senjis, CBC News.